Hey there, it's your Avon Lady, Chris Arnold, and I have your product picks for campaign 13 of 2023. And this campaign, we are debuting our limited edition summer fragrance launch. And it is a um, addition to our Haiku family of fragrances. And um, kind of the vibe for our Haiku, uh, Haiku fragrances is a sense of harmony and elegance. So this is Haiku Sunrise. This beautiful kind of summery, sunrisey, uh, orangey color here. Love that. Um, it is um, in terms of what type of fragrances it is. It's a woody floral. Uh, so some other fragrances that we have that are woody floral. So you know if this might be the type of fragrance that you like is our Far Away Beyond Intense, the Amari Amour, which was a, a spring launch last year. Uh, the Layered Artisan Santal Musk, that's one of our gender neutral, um, good for everybody scents. Uh, Layered Oud Rose and Night Magic, those are all woody floral scents. Um, so if you like those types of scents, this may be one that you're going to like. Um, some of the other things to kind of help get you, get you an idea of what the mood for Haiku Sunrise is, is it's golden and serene and vibrant and sweet and it really is just kind of um, to evoke that that fresh clean kind of start um, of the day that mood that you get um, at the beginning of the day the um, so of course uh, the fragrance notes we have our top notes our mid notes and our base notes so the top notes those are the things you're going to smell kind of right of way but they're going to be kind of your fastest fading scent your mid note is going to be um, something a little bit that you're going to get more of um, that sort of as it starts to blend with your chemistry and then your base note or the dry down notes that's where um, where it's really going to kind of settle so the the three kind of primary notes in this fragrance um, in the mid notes we have a fresh coconut water and a sweet rhubarb so of course the coconut water has got a little bit of a sweetness to it and the rhubarb does too so that's kind of got that that sweet scent and then the base as um, the primary note in the base is a warm cedar wood. Um, of course, there's some other notes included to kind of round it out. So we have in a top note, again, those are what you're going to kind of perceive right away as soon as you apply it, is wild fig, watermelon, uh, Madagascar black pepper. So um, you've got those in the top. Um, in the mid, in addition to the coconut water and the rhubarb, you've also got marine accord. And that's really just, um, that's kind of the, just the scent that you associate with the ocean. So it's not like a, it's like a blend of scents that just evoke the ocean and the seaside. That's the, the marine accord. And then in the dry down or the base notes, you've also got, you've got the warm cedar wood, but you also have some cashmere wood and some amber. Um, so it's a really, really lovely scent. I'm really kind of um, warm and, and it is it is in the class of a woody floral um, but I don't find it very flowery I don't I don't see it like um, you know the, that wood really balances that out nicely you've got a little bit of those sweet notes with the rhubarb and the watermelon and the coconut water um, so wonderful wonderful new scent it is limited edition summer scent and um, while most of our limited edition summer scents do hang around all summer long and then go away kind of at the end of the summer. We have had limited edition summer scents that sold out very, very quickly. I can tell you the Far Away Valley that we recently brought to our full regular, um, no, no longer limited edition uh, fragrance line, that when it originally launched, sold out I think before the end of its first campaign of introduction. So limited edition means we, we made just a limited run of this fragrance. When it's gone, it's gone. Unless it proves incredibly popular and comes back by popular demand maybe a year or two later um, when they get around um, to being able to make more. So um, if you do like this set, just keep in mind it is limited edition, so you might want to stock up before it's gone. Um, and if you'd like to give it a try, I do have um, some, I took some little um, pads that you can get and, and sprayed some, uh, and seal them up so I do have some samples that I can send out if you'd like to try it um, just you know message me with your address where I can send that for you and um, 
comments on the video don't necessarily um, work because you don't want to post your address there. So um, hop on over to thoughtsonbeauty.com and just click contact me in that top menu and that'll give you a little form you can fill out with your address and everything and just let me know that you would like to try the Haiku Sunrise and I can send that out for you. Um, or if you know that I already have your address, um, then just drop a comment that you'd like to try it and I will get that out to you. Um, I did only have one other brand new item to sell, um, so I used my handy dandy random number generator and picked out a random product from our existing product line to share. And uh, my random number generator never fails me. This is the perfect thing to sell as we're going in, uh, to show you as we're going into summer. And um, it is actually our match dust. And yes, I know that says magic. My personal um, jar of this is an older jar um, that I haven't run out of um, the one that I bought before the name change. So it's match dust and the match set. And um, these are both finishing powders. And they're great to share at this time of year because, of course, in the summer, we do, um, you know, sometimes get a little bit, we worry a little bit about getting shiny and, and glistening um, in the summer heat and maybe need to touch up, tone down that, um, that shine a little bit in the middle of the day. Or we want to do something when we apply our makeup in the first place to help avoid that. Um, so I haven't used either one of these yet today. Um, so we have the Match Dust finishing, finishing Powder, and this one comes in two shades, the Translucent Fair Light and Translucent Medium Deep. Um, obviously, as you can tell, I probably use the Fair Light, um, but I do like that it is a very translucent color, um, and it comes in the jar like this with just the little holes there. Um, I do, and it does have, I think that's what this is, yeah, it does have where you can turn it and lock it closed. So if you're traveling or you have it in your, um, you know, in your bag, in your purse or something that you're carrying it with you, it's less likely to spill. Um, so let me go ahead and open that back up. Um, and I, I, it's always just sitting on my vanity, so it, that's why I had to double check that you could close it. Um, the way I like to do it is I like to take it upside down, tap it a couple times, and then I take the bottom off so that I have a little bit in the bottom. I use our dual-ended uh, makeup brush, our blush and blush and contour brush. <laughs> and I like the fluffy side of that. And I just tap that in there, get a little bit on there. You can see it's a little uneven, got a little bit too much. And then I just kind of swirl that around in there and tap off the excess there. And we will go ahead and get my forehead here because <laughs> it definitely needs it. It's looking very shiny on camera right now. So you can see how that just really gives that silky soft finish, just, um, you know, gets rid of it helps control any shine and you can just you know throw it on in the middle of the day for a touch-up or you can do it as your last step of your makeup um, in the morning just to kind of set everything in place um, so it does diffuse the light i got a piece it brushed some of my hair down <laughs> sorry about that um, so it does it diffuses the light it visibly blurs pores and fine lines um, so you can see how it even kind of, um, you know, blurred out some of the, the lines in my forehead there. And again, it does control that um, shine, gives you that silky soft matte finish. Um, both of the, um, the finishing powders, the match dust and the match set, are both, um, you know, free from talc and parabens and oils and fragrance. Because again, why do you need fragrance in your powder? You really don't. Um, then we also have the match set finishing powder, which comes in the same style of jar or you can get it in the match set on the go, which I really like this one. This is what I like to take when I travel. And this is the invisible translucent, so everybody can use the same color. It has no color to it at all once it goes on. Um, the match set that comes in the, uh, in the jar does also come with a powder puff. So good for, um, for travel that way as well. But so this is just an invisible version of the magic the match dust i do find this feels a little bit um finer even so it's it's fine mineral powder um and it's a weightless feel to it um so this one the match set on the go has a built-in brush so you just turn it upside down tap it a little bit you've got the powder there comes out and then you just brush that around so it works great on the face so now we will get rid of the the shine that has developed on my cheeks <laughs> and might as well get the nose and the chin at the same time 
and you can see it's invisible, doesn't affect the color at all. And to close it up, you just slide up that little sleeve there and pop the top back on. So that way you can use it without messing up the brush. So that's our um, quick little highlight, a random highlight of something that is in our existing product line. That's just um, a really cool thing you might be looking to have this time of year when we do tend to glisten a little bit extra um, on those warm summer days. Uh, so real quick, last thing I have to show you is our new Breast Cancer Awareness Collection. Um, we actually have both um, a new set of earrings and a new necklace. And I do have the new necklace, which is our uh, rose quartz. And just absolutely beautiful. So the really cool thing about rose quartz is not only is it pink, so it ties into the pink ribbon breast cancer awareness, rose quartz is also one of the birthstones for the month of October, which of course is breast cancer awareness month. So if you know anybody with a birthday in October that you would like to get a breast cancer awareness piece for, this is especially good for them, but it is just a really beautiful piece uh, for, for anybody. It does have uh, the, uh, looks like a rose gold tone to me, um, just says gold tone, looks a little bit rosy to me. I guess on camera it does look like regular gold tone. Um, so it's gold tone chain. I actually really like, I know it's a small detail, but these little, these little nubs around the outside because they kind of help keep the pendant from sliding around on the necklace. You know, sometimes the pendant slides around and then you get the clasp around at the front. That kind of helps it keep it from doing that. <laughs> so I kind of think that's actually, I don't think that's supposed to be a feature of that type of chain, but um, it does does help with that. And it does have, this one has a 16 and a half inch long with three inch extender. So it does have um, the extender here that you can choose your length there. And the pendant itself is three, uh, three quarters of an inch long. So you can kind of see there just as a real world measurement, it's about the distance between the base of my um, finger and first knuckle there. Just so you kind of get an idea of how big it is. But just really, really pretty. Um, and then we've got some of those rose quartz accents in the earring set as well. So, um, and I know we had a, um, a breast cancer earring set last year. I don't think it was the same set. But um, it was really popular because folks like to have a different wardrobe of earrings to wear kind of all month long um, if they were observing Breast Cancer Awareness Month all through October. So that was kind of a cool set. And we do have a couple other pieces that are not new, but you may not have seen um, the, the sort of journey pink ribbon and the, the pink bracelet there. So that's all I have for you this campaign. It was a quick and easy campaign. Um, I will remind you, I do have my private sales going on. So those are each week I will share a different private sale. It's, it's usually, um, you know, a, a different bundle of products or um, particular product that is at better than brochure prices. Um, because we are not allowed to share those prices publicly, the only way to get the private sales is to be a, pro a member of my private uh, Facebook group, the Thoughts on Beauty group on Facebook. You can just go there and find that. Um, or you can sign up to get the uh, notices about the private sales either via email or text. And um, you can, can message me to get either one of those um, to get on either one of those lists. Um, and again, you can always just go to thoughtsonbeauty.com, click contact me, and um, fill out that form to request whatever it is you would like my assistance with. Um, that's kind of why I have that there. So I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I will see you in a couple of weeks. Bye.